Sebring is, is really a tough track, you know. It's very famous for that. You have everything, fast corner, slow corner, very bumpy corner, always with sand and high temperature on the afternoon. So you have everything in this 12-hour race, and it's, it's well known, you know. It's why a lot of teams are coming here also to test for the 24-hour Le Mans. It's because it's the hardest track for sure in America and one of the hardest track in the world. Coming into the 2013 season, uh, our goal is to defend the championship. Uh, we had a very good season last year, we won six races and we want to build uh, on that foundation. So, we've done a lot of changes and improvements over the winter time. And uh, we believe that our package this year is even more competitive than last year. And it has to be our goal to uh, win the last ALMS championship. Today, uh, race control took the race from us, in my opinion. Um, I mean, we got two stop and go with 60 seconds uh, each time, and it's, to me, it's ridiculous. I mean, even though I couldn't even avoid the incident, um, so for me, that's not acceptable, honestly. Uh, so, overall, we pushed hard. We came back to the lead lap. I mean, the guys did an awesome job in the, in the pits. And we came back onto the lead lap and came close, you know, 55 seconds at the end uh, to the Rebellion car. So it wasn't meant to be. Congrats to them, they drove very good. No mistakes and stayed clean. And uh, it was a very interesting 12-hour uh, Sebring, I think, in the, in the petrol class.
still get to see the upside. I mean, we finished the 12 hour race, the car ride very reliable. Uh, that's very positive for the remainder of the season. As a driver, you know, you push so hard and I always give everything I have. And then if it gets taken away from you like that, I, I feel cheated. <laughs>